Oh my god, dude, we finally got one. We got a freaking berm. It's a bit loud, but uh, just sitting at our favorite restaurant here, about to go out herping. A uh, new episode, I guess this is. Uh, interesting news, my friend Harry is arriving tonight. Um, but we're gonna go out a bit beforehand, see if there's anything interesting out, and this bit episode will cover the normal stuff, you know, Guahin herping, next couple days before we go on a big trip. So, uh, yeah, let's get cracking. All right, first find of the night is this uh, striking the green vine snake. I thought it was sitting quite pretty, so I got my camera out for it. Can't get much closer than this without wading into deep bushes, but uh, sub-adult, um, decent size, not the tiniest one, far from the largest one. All right, second snake of the night is this uh, Burmese slash mountain bronzeback, Dendrolaphus suboccularis. Another one spotted from the bike. This one's sleeping uh, really low in this little shrub, so allowing us to get a proper look at him. Not a big one, not the tiny one either. Quite pretty, but these have become one of the most common snakes over the last week, as you would have seen in like the last couple episodes as I stopped filming them at some point. But I figured I'd show this one since it was in a perfect place and looking, looking pretty nice there. And also, bear with me, as I stopped to turn around my bike, I spotted vine snake number two of the night. This one also in a very nice spot for filming. So you get to see its elongated nose of the Ahetala CF Nasuta complex. And uh, yeah, not overexposing too badly this one since we're filming it from a top down angle. They're a bit uh, nicer to film that way, but you don't often get them at that height, usually just head height or just above. But two snakes in a couple seconds. Nothing on the road yet, but we haven't even done one pass. Let's see if we can change that. Okay, first properly live snake of the night. And it's a good one. We have been beyond spoilt with these recently. I cannot over, un, I cannot overstate that. Uh, or, is it, or is the phrase I cannot understate that? Okay, we are on a road, but I'm gonna try and film for a minute anyway, since it's pretty quiet. But yeah, as I was saying, we've been absolutely spoilt for these recently. Like, it's actually unbelievable how many we've seen considering this species can often not show up for months at a time. But uh, yeah, we have been doing a lot of herping, so obviously we're probably gonna see more than the other guys have. But damn, hold on, car coming. Obviously you get this in my garden, but it's still nice to see. I did see a DOR one fresh earlier, so they're moving tonight. Seen a couple fresh DORs actually, so we're not gonna spend too long with this guy. I'm just gonna grab a couple quick snaps with my camera of it on the road in situ kind of. Uh, I did move it back onto the road after it tried to get off. And then we'll continue on with our night. After a pass of nothing, the road has suddenly come to life and we've got probably the strongest banded sluggy, Parius bird mori, that I've actually seen in this area so far. We've seen some nice yellow ones, but in terms of like strong banding, we've hardly seen a single individual. But uh, yeah, we've seen a lot of these in the past, so I'm not gonna spend long. I'll just give you a slightly better look at him. His nice banded, highly laterally compressed body. Very, very cute snake. I'll let him go back into the bush and we'll continue cruising because things have burst into life. Just started our second pass after four species, two on the road. On our last pass, and this pass has begun uh, bright and early with a Malayan pit viper. Um, kind of a small one, but very pale, dusty pattern. Guahin typical, uh, but a bold stripe behind the eye. I'm just going to shoo him off the road and let's get going. It's going to be one of those nights, huh? Got our second sluggy of the night. Just going to let him cruise off the road. Yep, it really is one of those nights. Here's another one with some, again, pretty strong dark twin spotting on the back this time. Uh, number three, Parius bird moray of the night. What the hell? What's it doing? Very strange behavior right there. Anyway, let's get moving. Well, density wise, not missing anything today. Diversity wise, tonight hasn't been the best, but uh, 
what we are seeing is a diversity of cuddle, of nogapa coloration and pattern. <coughs> <coughs> this guy, really abnormal for this area. Um, almost no speckling whatsoever. Really clean individual. I'm gonna wrap up the video here since we see these all the time and uh, take a couple photos. All right, we did get another species tonight. We got this lovely little cappuccino, Lycodon capucinus, insulation, common wolf snake, whatever you want to call it. Um, just crossing the road, nice and slow, nice and quiet out here. So it's getting kind of latish now, so there's never any traffic on the road. But yeah, I've shown these in my videos before, so I'm just going to film this guy in situ for a minute. But this one's got some nice creamish pattern, nice yellow on the neck. Not the prettiest one I've ever seen, but definitely has some nice markings. I am a big fan of this species, no matter how common they may be. I'm a huge fan, and yeah, just going to let this guy go without touching him at all. Okay, so I spotted my first python in Thailand, and it's this pretty small retic, which is cruising on the edge of this pond here that we often check out, but I was yet to see a snake here. And that has been uh, fully christened now with one I was hoping to see here the whole time. It is a very attractive reticulated python. I'm so glad I got to show a snake which is different in this video and one that I've been hoping to see for a while. Wow, I'm, I'm regretting not bringing my camera out now because this is a cool in situ, but... You can keep it here if you want. You can run back and get it and come back with the scooter. I may do that. All right, so uh, I went back to get my camera and in the meantime, Harry and David managed to calm this python down. You can see it's not a big one. It's a very, very modest sized, but uh, it's going on adulthood at some point in the near future. And as you can see, very, very beautiful snake. It's been so long since I've seen one of these. I've waited so long to get my first python. I couldn't believe we didn't see one in the south and I've just been waiting to find one around here, so. It's absolutely glorious to be able to see this beautiful specimen here tonight. And I'm definitely going to snag some pics because these guys look really nice. Just look at that pattern. And those orange eyes. Lovely. All right, look who's back. Harry, one of the OGs who features on the channel a lot. He's out in Thailand and uh, we're about to get out cruising. See if we can find some snakes on the road, maybe do some walking. Not long tonight because we've got a big trip tomorrow, but uh, <laughs> without further ado, <laughs> let's get to it. Okay, so first snake of the night is this uh, lovely Cambodian Muhots cookery snake, Oligoda Mohotai. Got this just a couple minutes after we got out on the road. This one's got a really nice yellow stripe on the back. I didn't film while out herping last night since we had a really big group and didn't plan on doing much, but we actually got two of these last night. So. Uh, they're really moving right now, and somehow I've seen more of these since I've been here. Almost double as many as I have of Oligodon fasciolatus, which is supposed to be the 10 times more common one, which is always observed. But yeah, Mohotai, always pretty, very beautiful specimen, this one with a very bold yellow stripe. Uh, I don't think we're going to photograph this, just going to let it go. Oh my god, dude, we finally got one. We got a freaking berm. This is just two nights after we got the first retic we just cruised down and saw a huge log on the road and instantly i was like that's gonna be a python and it is oh my freaking god all right take it out to the side i'm gonna pick up video once we calm this boy or girl down okay so now that we took this uh, berm to the side of the road i can actually talk properly about it this is the first adult berm I've ever seen. I've seen uh, three juveniles before, all in this area, but that was many years ago. And despite seeing a couple of these dead on the road, I've never had the fortune to uh, see one alive. And man, is it a great experience. Obviously, this is an iconic snake, known worldwide for not always the best reasons, known for being invasive in Florida and people going and killing them and trying to hunt them out of the area. But around here, they are native, they are protected, and uh, they are definitely becoming rarer. We have a theory that the amount of road kills there are due to their slow speed may impact their population, but the reality is it's probably a numerous array of factors. But what is for sure is they have got a lot rarer in these areas over the years, and that's very sad to see. So great to find one right near our house, and what an amazing sight when it was crossing the road. 
This is the biggest highlight in Hua Hin since the Malayan crate. So uh, an absolute jewel of a snake and one I have, uh, I will always remember as the first adult berm I caught. And just look at that coloration, that pale brown, that cool tail, just an iconic true python. And just, yeah, I'm absolutely stoked with this. What a find. We're gonna get back on the road and uh, see what else we can find tonight. Um, I'm hoping we can rack up a couple more snakes before we go back early. All right, let's let him go back the way he was going. And once they go into there, man, you're not seeing those things again. They're like impossible to see in vegetation, but very easy to hear apparently. <laughs> okay, so I spotted this guy in a little pool on the side of the road. Gave up on it like very quickly, but Harry persisted and eventually managed to get it out. Just a Hypsoscopus plumbia, nothing special, but uh, adult, I, don't know, he's, I think he's starting to shed. Or he has some stuck shed, either way. I'll have a look, but yeah, just gonna let this guy cruise off because we've seen these before and we will certainly see them again. Got this uh, nice subocularis walking a little on from where we got that plumbia. We've been seeing these every night, but it's mostly been the same individuals that I showed in other videos because they tend to rest in the same area at night. So, uh, but this one, completely different area, new individual, thought I'd show it on the channel. Sleeping in the tall grass. It began to shoot off the second I shone my torch on it. So I figured I'd just pick it up and show it in the video. This is a very pretty one. Lots of blue, very um, gold, goldish bronze head with a very defined stripe. Right, before we could even get back to the bike, spotted the third snake in just this little stroll along the side of a dirt road, in situ uh, Parius bird moray. This one got almost no banding, but it's a uh, kind of a nice orangey specimen. Let me see if I can get it to show us its head. There we go. Obviously not going to touch this guy, just let him keep cruising around, but nice color specimen. That's uh, five species tonight, including a berm. Wow. All right, just hop back on our bike. Six species of the night is the uh, ubiquitous Malayan pit viper. I mean, I say ubiquitous, but uh, we took some friends out here last night and just did not see it a single one. But uh, this one, a nice Hua Hin specimen with like the faint hope dark postocular stripe behind the head and the sort of pinkish venter with the speckling on the side. Very hua hini. But uh, yeah, you've seen a million of these on the channel by now, so we're just gonna uh, map this guy in and let him get on his way. All right, quick stop at the little stream by our place revealed this Ahitula Suta. He's overexposed so badly in my torchlight that um, that makes it seven species in one pass of the road, so including like walking around the side of the road at some points but yeah that's not bad at all for a uh, for like an hour and a half well back at the house at 9 p.m that was a 7 p.m to 9 session and uh we're done for the night and we're going on a big trip tomorrow so uh i won't be filming any videos on that trip because i'm going to be focusing on other things but i'll be picking up with some more interesting stuff than just wahin videos when i am back so cats wave Holy sh! We just road cruised like it in Davisoni. I don't know what is this Davison's bridal snake? Yeah. Which is one of the rarest snakes in the Hua Hin area. All right, someone grab that, boss. All right, I cannot believe this seems to always happen. Again, it's the night which we're planning on driving down to Southern Thailand. We just went out to uh, release a snake we caught the other night, testing out my new car, and we find. Again, like I said, one of the rarest snakes in the Hua Hin area, just crossing the road in front of it. So typical. Now, as I said before, this is Lycodon Davisoni, aka Blanford's Bridal Snake, which is always confusing. Uh, the common name is also known as Davison's Bridal Snake, but it uh, used to be in the genus Dryocalamus, but it got moved over to Lycodon. And I'm a big fan of the Lycodon slash Dryocalamus group in general. They are great snakes and even though I've seen several of these in the past in other areas and one here in Hua Hin, this is one I've been really, really looking forward to seeing in my time back here, getting some new pictures of. And this is a beautiful, like, it doesn't come up so much on the camera, but it's a lot more brown and cream, like yellowish cream in real life. And there's some black between the bands here, and that is just really cool. 
Now this is kind of an unexpected end to the video. I thought we were ending last night, but uh, yeah, you never know when you're gonna find something cool and you got to see one of the most uncommon and very, very pretty snakes that we get in our local area. Again, found just on the road outside, which is turning into the, the herping spot of the freaking year, man. This area is amazing for snakes and I'm gonna stop talking now because we've been looking at the snake doing absolutely nothing for a while, but I hope you enjoyed this sequence of videos. I'll be back with more stuff filmed here, interesting stuff now that I've got a car and uh, not just stuff around Hua Hin. I'll be going out west. I'll be going to some northern and southern spots on little trips. So yeah, look forward to that and thanks for watching as always. Peace. Yeah, yeah.